fighting out of Caesar Gracie's Jiu Jitsu Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of MMA's top 10 welterweights in the world from San Francisco, California. Introducing Jake Shields. We're about set for this welterweight matchup. Jake Shields, a brown belt under Caesar Gracie, looking to extend his eight fight winning streak. Mike Pyle, a product of Extreme Couture in Las Vegas. Randy Couture in his corner tonight. Of course, Couture's right, career in go. purgatory after resigning from the UFC in October. The two touch gloves, this fight is underway. Now, Pyle says there's uh, better wrestlers in Couture's camp than Jake Shields. So uh, we're going to see how he can defend against And he that. just stuffed the takedown and hurt Shields with that knee. And Pyle going for a guillotine yeah, choke man. early. And he's smiling. Don't you, don't grab the fence. Pyle stuck that takedown and dropped that knee, and boy, that wobbled Jake Shields. Shields looking to recover now. Has Pyle up along the fence just above us here. But an early salvo fired by Mike Pyle, stuffing the takedown and nailing Shields with the knee. This is the most fired up I've seen Jake Shields before a match and hopefully he can get his emotions in check because he fights better when he's, when he's really cold. Pyle pummeling up along the fence now, both of them in a standing position. Shields trying to pin him along the fence. As you can see, Pyle trying to block that knee delivers a short knee of his own. You would think one would give the grappling edge to Jake Shields, but Mike Pyle very well versed in all facets, and as he told us, he gets to work with guys like Gray Maynard, Joe Stevenson, Jay Huron. And for sure, Jake Shields has said that he feels that Mike Pyle is underrated and he's one of the best fighters that he's faced. But on the other hand, Mike Pyle said the best fighter he's faced is Andre Semenov, not Jake Shields. And then that fight versus Semenov, he says he breaks his arm and Semenov turns around and What's hits him with it. What's the story? Pyle was looking for the Kimura on Shields' right arm. Now the trip takedown. Nice reversal there by Shields and some great back and forth here between two very evenly matched competitors in Mike Pyle and Jake Shields. And you can see why Elite XC wanted to make this a welterweight title fight. We're, we're, we're going to see an unbelievable array of ground fighting. And we've already seen that with that rollover by Jake Shields. Randy Couture has been an inspirational influence on Mike Pyle. I have never seen a more focused and a more mature Pyle. And definitely uh, Randy Couture, who's... An MMA ambassador, a Hall of Famer in his corner along with Forrest Griffin. While we talk about uh, Jake Shields' corner, he has El Nino, the Strike Force lightweight champion, Gilbert Melendez. Of course, a product of Caesar Grace. And we mentioned that Shields is a brown belt under Gracie. A lot of people think that that's worth more than a black belt by some other instructors if you get it from a Gracie. Well, Caesar Gracie has got Nick Diaz under him and now Jake Shields, two phenomenal uh, grapplers in their own right both extraordinary at jiu-jitsu but look at mike pyle mike pyle is no slouch as jake said he's very underrated and we're seeing as i said at the head of the show the best mike pyle that we've ever seen of course nick diaz will be in the main event taking on kj noons for the elite xc 160 pound world title pyle utilizing the rubber guard here on jake shields shields now in half guard will try to Pass to side mount, but Pyle doing a good job of neutralizing Jake Shields thus far as Shields tries to open that guard. Shields was had to be careful because, as you said, he was using the rubber guard and he was uh, being aggressive from the bottom with that. And it looked like Shields is going to work with that mount. He's got the knee on belly. And, and he has slipped over to mount, and now Jake Shields. Let's see what Pyle's able to do. Turns over, trying to escape maybe through the back door. Uh-oh, you know what? He's got it mistake. sunk in, gentlemen, oh, and it's over. It is over. Jake Shields submits Mike Quicksand Pile here in the first round. It's nine in a row for the Caesar Gracie Superstar. Jake Shields has told us if he had his druthers, and of course, different policies were abounding, he would love to fight George St. Pierre. As of right now, he's indeed the welterweight fighter to watch an Elite XC, and it'll be interesting to see who Elite XC brings in to take on Jake Shields. Okay, Mike Pyle started things out real good, 
Stuff the takedown, sprawls back. As soon as they get back to their feet, wham, there's that knee that went right to the body. He scoots back and he shows that he's really in control here. Drops a knee again, stuffs another takedown. Pyle is in charge, but as soon as we have that takedown, and look at this, talk about a beautiful reversal by Jake Shields. Gets Pyle on the floor and starts ticking away at how good his jujitsu was gonna become. And that jujitsu finalized itself. Leg hooks in, right arm around the throat of Mike Pyle. Sunk it in, Mateo Leon. Jake Shields knew he had it. Let's take another look at that. Jake Shields, boy, he knew he had it. Rear naked choke once again. Jake Shields in control. That's jujitsu right there.